Hey, Tim Sykes here, and I have probably what is going to be the most important video lesson of the summer for you. Um, amazing day, truly amazing day out of the blue today, especially for my students, not necessarily myself. And Roland Wolf is my latest six figure student. You might have seen him featured in this blog post 10 lessons from another student who just passed 100,000 in profits. He started with $4,000, okay? And he actually just met me in Italy a few days ago. He was at 133,000 in profits. Well, guess what? He's doing well. He's up 12,000 plus this week. So I think he's closing in on 160, maybe even 170,000 in profits from $4,000 roughly seven months ago. Okay. And we have a nearly 30 minute video uh, with him, an interview. And it's taking my video guys a lot of time. We shot it in 4K. It's like ridiculously high def. Please leave a comment underneath this video if you want to see the full 30 minute interview. I want you guys leaving comments. Hopefully we can get, you know, a few hundred comments underneath this video. And I'm going to show my video guys all of these comments. I'm going to be like, come on guys. Like they really want to see this interview. So help me out there. My video guys aren't going to listen to me talking. I'm just going to show them all the comments. So please leave a comment and say, I want to see Roland's interview. How many words is that? I want to see Roland's interview. Six words. Leave that comment underneath this video, and I'm going to try to get his full nearly 30-minute interview up, um, ideally by Sunday. But I need your help to really get my video guys understanding how important this video is. Um, is but I love the fact that he's made twelve thousand in profits this week. You can see his screenshot. He made over seven thousand dollars today on RETC, and he specifically says, "Good old number five psych special dip buying pumps, not for the faint of heart." Fourth trade of the week, patience pays. Okay, and if you're in the chat room, you can see he was saying, "I'm not trading much. I don't see much going on." This is the play that you wait for, and a lot of you guys are asking me, "What's a number five? Guys, watch this guide. Where was it? Shoot, hold on. This is my guide, Penny Stocking Framework. This is a classic number five pattern from this seven step framework. And I'm working on the sequel, I'm working hard on it. This actually example is gonna go into the sequel. But please watch the original. You will be shocked at how well this seven um, pattern framework works pretty much to a T. And here is RETC today. Drop from 250 down to 150, bounce back up to 220. This is a 50% bounce off the lows. The low was right here at like 148 p.m. Eastern. The little bounce here was at, well, it bounced a few times, but 1408, so 208. 20 minutes and you had a 50% bounce. And I missed it because this was midday. I was actually out. Uh, usually I nail these, you know, I don't usually capture all 50%. I usually capture 10, 15, 20, maybe 25%. Um, I probably would have screwed this up. I probably would have bought on this first panic here in the 170s and sold some in the twos and maybe added a little more and then sold some here at like 190. I would not have captured all 50%. But this is an example where you can make 50% on your money. And I think Roland is actually going to make a video if he hasn't already on his trade. Um, but this is the number five pattern, okay? And Roland is my arguably hottest student right now. He started literally 2017 with $4,000, and he's whether he's at 160 or 170,000. When he was in Italy just a few weeks ago with me, what three weeks ago now, when he first came to Italy, you know he was at 133,000. So he started with 4,000. He is nailing it. And a lot of you guys ask, like, how does Roland do this? Like, do you give him the picks ahead of time? Is he, like, your friend? Are you cheating? He just studies hard. A lot of people always are interested in the new hot trader, whether it's him or Stephen Ducks or Tim Grittani or Mark Crook. These guys are not inventing anything new. All of the patterns that they trade have been documented in my DVD guides, okay? Roland knew nothing about penny stocks. Tim Grittani knew nothing about penny stocks. Stephen Ducks knew nothing about penny stocks when they first found me, okay? So this is why I say study these guides, study the past, because they're not pioneers. They're not inventors. They're tailoring my strategies to their own preferences. You know, Tim Grittani was actually shorting RETC. I don't think he had a huge position, 
but Tim Grittani was shorting this in the low twos, and he probably made 20, 30, 40% on the way down on his short. There's money to be made on the shorts, there's money to be made on the longs. For the majority of you watching it, it's easier and better to go long because you need a specialty broker, you need probably a bigger account in order to short sell this kind of a play. So for me, I'm trading with a small account lately, I prefer dip buying. And if you've seen my video lessons, you know, it's the same damn pattern every time. A lot of you guys ask, how do you know what's going to happen? Are you psychic? Are you lucky? Are you a fraud? I study the past. Why do you think I'm so obsessed with getting you guys to study hard, no days off? I say corny things like studying the past is the key to your future because it's true, because it works. And thank God for people like Roland who show their screenshots. He alerted the whole challenge chat room to when he was long. He nailed it. And I'm glad that I was not there because a lot of people think that these patterns, you know, don't always work. Okay. And you know, it's not a hundred percent. I don't want you to think that they work a hundred percent of the time, but they do work the majority of the time. And even though, you know, I wish I had been there, the fact that I wasn't there, the fact that this, you know, stock bounced so perfectly all on its own should help you understand that whether I alert, whether I'm there or not, these things are going to play out. And it's kind of a beautiful thing, whether you get, you know, 10,000 shares or a, even a thousand shares. Let's say you buy a thousand shares here at a buck 70 or a buck 80, right? You risk losing like 200 bucks if you don't catch the exact bottom. But let's say you buy a thousand shares here at 175, okay? And 15 minutes later, you're at 210. You're making 300 bucks on a $1,700 investment. Now, again, this is nothing on Wall Street. This is why Wall Street will continue to look down on penny stocks forever. It's such small money. But for a lot of you guys with a few thousand dollars to your name, this is the single best pattern to watch. And you should have been alerted to this, okay? Yes, it's one of my classic uh, patterns. But if you look at my overall video lesson library, okay, same pattern here. Same pattern here, CNAB. CNAB, this was, you know, back in November 2016. This thing went down to a buck 50, bounced to 220. This is a 50% win, okay, in under an hour on CNAB. And I, I took some of it. I made a little over 1,000. Uh, this one was, what, EMMD. This was another pump. This one bounced from 2 up to 330. So this is more than a 50% win in under an hour. And there's so many more. These are just a few examples. I want you to see that this happens again and again. This was today's video lesson that I made this morning. Let me just play you a section about this. And I was, you know, showing off this chart. Let me just show you. Click Here, play. At like two. So you're buying it at 160 and you're selling it at two. 2,000 shares, okay? $3,200 investment and you made 40 cents a share, which is possible inside of an hour. 800 bucks. So these are the kinds of plays to wait for and you have to be prepared um, and that's why I'm showing you RETC this is next okay ENVV failed bounce failed bounce failed bounce I'll still watch it but every failed bounce that it has like I get more gun shy um, because it's I just don't want the bottom falling out uh, RETC will crash uh, I know a few people have actually found shares to short I have not but this is a potential short for me and more importantly it's a potential dip buy when the crash comes. So watch RETC. Thank you. That was today's video lesson. I posted it at 12.30 p.m. Eastern. This is time stamped. A thousand plus people have already watched it. I specifically said watch RETC. I specifically said this is next. I specifically said this will crash. I specifically said I know a few people who are already short. I specifically said I'm more interested in the potential dip buy. Let me just play this. It's failed bounce, failed bounce. I'll still watch it, but every failed bounce that it has, like I get more gun shy um, because it's, I just don't want the bottom falling out. Uh, RETC will crash. Uh, I know a few people have actually found shares to short. I have not, but this is a potential short for me. And more importantly, it's a potential dip buy when the crash comes. So watch RETC. This will happen again. I did not know that it was going to crash an hour later. I did not know that, you know, it was going to be a great dip buy. I knew that it had the right pattern. And you can see here, 
you know, let me just make this big. This was when the stock was at 250, okay? So this is before the crash. I made this video lesson, I mean, it was like right around here, okay? And any single one of you could have shorted it, and any single one of you, well, not any single one of you could have shorted it. You have to find shares to short. Any single one of you could have been watching it for the dip buy and made 50% on your money. On top of today's video lesson, okay, maybe you're not watching video lessons midday. Okay, I get it. Well, this is why I also send out a watch list every single night the night before. And I specifically said, RETC, LBY, LBUY, PGSY, ENVV, these are the current pump looking charts. RETC and LBUY are potential shorts for me, okay? Let me go to my previous watch list from the day before, just in case you think, oh, okay, maybe you miss a watch list. Maybe you didn't know about RETC then. The day before, I said ENVV, RETC, LBUI are three pump looking charts. All of them are potential dip buys into big crashes, okay? More importantly on RETC and LBUI, I'm watching for potential shorts as their crashes are inevitable this week or next. Maybe you missed my last two watch lists. This was three watch lists ago. And I said, RETC is still being pumped, so I'm watching it. ENVV was more, you know, my pattern. ENVV, I actually did dip by here in the, the 16 cent a share range. But because I knew I was going out in the middle of the day, I did not hold. It actually bounced quite nicely. A nice little 27% bounce. Um, and this one, you know, is a little riskier, uh, but this is a, a, an alternate version, slightly different from the other one where this is bouncing too. If I had a choice, you know, I would choose RETC. RETC, I really like those midday, specifically, ideally, morning panics. Um, so it's not usual that it happens midday, but this was it. It's been in so many watch lists. It's been in so many video lessons. And it's crazy to me that really like the same students are banking. Tim Grittani banked on the short, Roland banked on the long. And they're not special. They have no different access. They have no information that you don't have. All they have done is really paid attention and watched the video lessons and watched the DVDs and experienced it themselves. And, you know, I mean, I can tell you, I can, I can make as many video lessons as possible, but until you start taking your education seriously, until you start really studying the past, you will miss these plays. You will miss these opportunities. You will not make 50% on your money inside of an hour. So it's your choice. You know, all I can do is say that this pattern will happen again. All I can show you is proof after proof, timestamp after timestamp that, we're calling these ahead of time, before the crashes happen, before the bounces happen. This is why you cannot just rely on alerts. You know, sometimes I might miss a trade. I totally missed RETC today. I don't care at all. I'm glad that my students nailed it. I'm glad that I have previewed this and teased this and prepared you for this exact price action every single day this week. You just have to keep watching. You just have to be prepared. That's all you can do. And nowhere else in finance are you gonna make 50% on your money. So send this video to somebody who hates penny stocks, please. I hear so much BS. Oh, penny stocks are all a scam. Sykes, you're a scam. Oh, studying doesn't help. Why study the past? Just focus on the big percent winners of the day. Because every play is slightly different. Because this is not an exact science. And the more you study the past, the better prepared for the future you are. The more you study the past, the better future you will have. I know it's corny. I know it's simple. But if I can reach just one of you with this video, where you start to say, whoa, penny stocks, maybe they're not the scam that everyone thinks they are. Whoa, maybe these patterns do repeat. Whoa. Maybe Tim Sykes isn't that smart like a lot of people say he is. And he's referring to himself in the third person. Maybe he's just an athlete who's egomaniac. 
I don't know what the answer is. I don't know what you want me to say. All I can tell you is that this pattern has happened so many times, it will continue to happen, and you will see these 50% bounces inside of 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes. And if you keep an eye on it, if you watch, I was actually having lunch while this was happening with a celebrity. Uh, I have a few celebrity students, and you'll I'll I'll show I'll tell you who this celebrity is eventually. Right now, I've signed a few non-disclosure agreements, but the celebrity was like watching me, and he was like, "What what's wrong?" And I was like, "You you don't even want to fucking hear this." Like I go I leave my computer for an hour an hour and a half to meet with you and this play that I've been waiting weeks on. I mean, this is RETC over two weeks every single day. And it, it had a little crash before and it bounced nicely. So I've been waiting for this. And again, most of the time these happens uh, right near the market open. So this was rare for it to happen midday. That's why I missed it. You know, usually I'm out doing stuff midday. But again, even if I'm not there, this is the beauty of students. This is the beauty that you don't need me. Roland doesn't need me anymore. He's only been studying for, you know, less than a year. But now he's made six figures and he recognizes the importance of patience and he capitalized. I don't know his exact entries or exits. He'll post it. You know, he, he verifies everything he posts. This is the play you wait for, guys. Whether you buy 1,000 shares or 2,000 shares or five or 10,000 shares, okay? You know, part of the reason with uh, these stocks, why more people on Wall Street don't do it, the volume was only 726,000 on the day, okay? So you can't dip by a million shares and then flip them. You would not have a profit. So most Wall Street, most big traders ignore this. But you easily, easily could have bought 1,000 shares, 2,000 shares, 5,000 shares, even 10 or 20,000 shares. You know, if you want to push it, I'm sure you probably could have even bought like 50,000 shares, you know, and made like 20 grand. But whether you're making a grand or two grand or 20 grand, there is room, there is opportunity, and this will happen again. You know, this midday bounce, it's nice, but it's like, you know, it's like, it kills me that more of you guys aren't taking advantage of this especially those of you with small, small, small accounts. Like, you got to do it. And you got to wait for it. You got to have patience for this. LBUY was another one. This one just keeps going. This one is one to watch, okay? This one will have the same kind of crash soon. PGSY is another one, but it's a little too low priced. So you have all of these. And it's just a question if you're ready. It's just a question if you're prepared. It blows my mind that so many of you say, you know, you want to do this. But, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. You got to wait for these good plays. You got to recognize what the good plays are. You got to study the past. So watch my penny stocking framework guide. Read my watch lists. You know, see these video lessons where this pattern has happened again. And, you know, we, we have a few ones. You know, like, usually you don't have them, so many of them, like, right after each other, right after each other, this one and this one and this one. Um, but you have that opportunity right now. So, anyways, I'm going to get some sleep. I'm filming this late night. Um, props to Roland and props to so many of you other guys. I think two other challenge students, JJ and George, also banked. Tim Grittani banked on the short. Um, you know, maybe this this has another morning panic that'll be a good dip buy. But usually it's that that first big crack that offers, you know, a good bounce. Um, so I don't know what to tell you guys. The, the rest of you, uh, Roland is not special. Steven Ducks is not special. Tim Grittani is not special. I'm not special. We just are prepared for these patterns. Trade like a sniper, be patient, wait for them. And when there's no great plays, guess what? Study more. Some of you guys are like, oh, it's summer, it's slow, I'm pissed off there's not more good plays. Be grateful when there's not a good play because that'll give you more time to prepare and be ready and be better prepared for when there is a good play. That's my spiel for today. 
Um, again, if you want to see Roland's nearly 30 minute interview, please leave a comment. I'm going to show my video guy. Awesome, awesome day for so many of you guys and especially Roland. And I'm glad that, you know, I'm, I'm getting through to a few of you. Some of you guys are sending me really nice messages. It's not just about the money. It's about recognizing the patterns ahead of time. And, you know, those kinds of, uh, you know, self-sufficiency, those, those kinds of opportunities, those kinds of just ways of growing your small account so fast do come about again and again. And I can't repeat myself anymore. Take it or leave it, but this will happen again. Thank you. I'll see you in the chat room.